Hi guys, my name is Christine and today I'm talking about how to develop an abundance mindset to attract more abundance into your life, whether that be um, an abundance of happiness, an abundance of uh, wealth. So how do we you know, create more abundance by developing a abundance mindset? So I think um, developing an abundance mindset can be a little bit tricky if you have this strong belief or this concept of yourself that you can't attract abundance into your life, whatever that abundance may be for you, okay? So it begins with changing the concept that you have of yourself and what you personally believe that you can do. You know, it's like that quote um, by, uh, Hen- I think it's Henry Ford, and he goes, you know, whether you think you can or you can't, either way you're right. So if you don't think that you can attract abundance, it's going to be very difficult for you to develop an abundance mindset to help you attract abundance, okay? So I think always when it comes to changing new beliefs about ourselves, we have to start small, okay? Um, Because if you start big um, and you think, oh yeah, I can attract loads and loads of money into my life and you start affirming that you start doing meditations or whatever it may be that you're trying to do um and you but you do too much of it um it can um backfire on you and make you um a bit demoralized and make you believe even less in uh being able to attract abundance for yourself so it's always best to go with small steps to help you believe it to help you change this concept of yourself okay so the way that I personally do this, if I'm having a bit of a troubling time or I've got a lot of worries, especially if it's something to do with something financial or, you know, um, you know, I, there's a lot of stuff going on, like a lot of tragedy. It's very hard to see the light in those times. OK, so one of the things that I do is I start by just simple abundance. Right. So simple abundance could be just going out in nature and, and observing the amount of leaves on the trees or the amount of blades of grass or going to a beach and looking at all the grains of sand, just seeing like natural abundance. Or it could be if you're living in a city, it might be the abundance of people that you can see, the abundance of cars that you can see, um, the abundance of concrete, right? whatever, whatever helps you see abundance in your life right? So that can help because then you can start by, you know, feeling your way along a little bit and seeing if you can find something a bit more. So for example, if you're looking at all of the the the, the grass, let's say there's so many, there's an abundance of, of blades of grass in the world. And then you go to, there's an abundance of trees in the world, you know, and then maybe you go to, or oh, there's an abundance of um, money circulating throughout the world. There's loads and loads of money coming in, coming out, going into different pockets all over the world, all over the time. And, you know, it's also possible that some of that money, because there's so much of it, will one day go into my pocket, you know, and maybe looking at your own bank account then, you can see, well, I've only got this ma- amount in my bank account, but that's still quite a lot compared to what some people have. And that starts to make you feel a lot better about abundance, you know, if you start off small and then you get to something a little bit more specific, shall we say. Okay, so natural abundance can really help with that. Um, And it goes, you know, with all kinds of things that you're trying to attract in your life, like love and happiness. You know, you go out and observe all of the happy couples that you see, right? Um, Things like that and just observing it and just seeing that, hey, look, these people are in love. These are these this this person seems happy. Um, this person's wealthy, I can be that too, because they're no different than me, like, all human beings are pretty much made up of the same stuff, you know, there's only a few tiny micro differences, and if the difference between you and someone rich is just a micro difference, like, perhaps their mindset, or their work ethic, um, you know, then you can do that as well, like, everything another human being has done, you can do too, Okay, so getting to that sort of mindset can really help. And again, just by observing, just by seeing, just by like, hey, these people have lots of money. Maybe one day I can have lots of money too. This, These couples are in a really happy relationship. I can have that as well. So, but again, you know, it starts with changing that concept of yourself and getting to a place where you believe that you can actually change your mind about these sort of things. Because I know a lot of people have a lot of struggles and they think, oh yeah, this is just the way my life is. This is just the way it's going to be for me because it's always been this way. 
but they don't realize that if they can change their beliefs about themselves, they can actually change it. So here's just a quick example, right? So my mum had the same phone for like a long time, for like a good, maybe five or 10 years. She had some, somewhere between five and 10 years, she had the same mobile phone, right? And one day that mobile phone broke and my mum is a bit scared of technology, right? So like she's never switched on a computer. She's never used a computer before. Um, so she's very afraid of technology. So when she had, she realized that she had to get a new phone, it w- she got really worried about it and stuff. So anyway, we got this new phone and to be honest, it wasn't too dissimilar to the phone that she had, but she was still worried because she had to, it was like a new interface, um, you know, different buttons, um, a different navigation system on the phone. Um, so, you know, so I tell, told her, I was like, you can do this. Like, just say to yourself, I can get used to this phone. You're not going to break it by pressing a button. The worst that you could probably do is accidentally phone the police. But if you do, then just hang, just hang up the phone you know, you know what, you know, so, so she could, she could accidentally phone someone, but that's about the worst thing she could do on that phone, right, so I told that to her, it's like, you're not gonna break it, you're not gonna mess it up, right, you can do this, and I kept saying that to her, I was like, you can do it, just remember that you can, say that you can, I told her to repeat to me, I can do this, and she did, and slowly, she got more used to the phone, and now she uses it just fine, um, and she's been using that phone for years now, okay, so it's it's changing that concept of yourself is really important. Being able to go from a place where perhaps you didn't believe you could do something to a place where you can, or you can at least see that, hey, you know what? Other people have done it. That means I can do it too, you know? So getting to that place is really important. You know, sometimes uh, another thing which is quite good is reframing things. So, you know, let's say you only have one pound in your bank account you know, you only, that's all the money that you have, but you know, one pound is still quite a lot, I mean, that's a hundred pennies, you know, I know, I know it sounds like not a lot, but if you think, if you got like a hundred pennies, that would seem like a lot of money, right, if you look at just physically how much that is, right, not necessarily the, what it means, so obviously what it means is obviously not that much, but if you got a hundred pennies, that would look like a lot, right, it's a lot of stuff, it's a lot of pennies, it may not be worth much, but it's a lot of pennies, right, so, so get into that place where you're like, hey, yeah, this may not mean a lot, this may not be able to buy me much, but it's still a lot of stuff, it's still a lot of pennies, right, if they were laid out on, on, in front of you, in front of a table, it would seem like a lot, okay, sometimes reframing things can help you feel a little bit better about things as well, and be able to create that abundance mindset, okay, so one of the things that I've noticed as a dating and relationship coach is that a lot of people, especially if they've um, been in love with someone and then they got broken up with or they really liked someone and that person didn't, you know, reciprocate, what I've noticed is that people get to this place, this really dark place, where they think that they cannot find anyone better than that previous person that they were totally in love with, you know, and you know, one of my advice to them is to say, is, is to tell them that, you know what, there are a lot of people out there, you know, there are a lot of good matches out there for you, right, so you've got to change this concept of yourself to think that you can't find anyone better, because you can, I think also what plays into it is sometimes people get sick of trying, sometimes people get sick of um, being single, and so they just sort of, um, sort of succumb to their fate, I guess you could say, but, you know, the problem with that is, is that that's not going to help you, that's really not going to help you to get to that place where I cannot do this, Um, because it's so self-limiting, and, um, you know, and you don't want to, you don't want to be sucked into that, because it's a very, very dark hole, and I've been in that kind of place before myself, like, for example, I was once in a relationship um, about eight or nine years ago, and I thought I was never going to find anyone better than that woman after that relationship had ended. But it, that wasn't the truth. I thought that at the time. And I thought that for a good few months afterwards, even about, maybe even about for a year, I thought that, I thought, oh yeah, I'm never going to find anyone like that. But when I met my wife, my whole world changed. Like that, 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 that belief that I would never find anyone as good looking or anyone as better than her completely changed and dissolved. And that wasn't no longer my view because I had that new experience. So sometimes what might be good is to actually put yourself in new experiences, especially if you are single and you're looking to find someone where you can actually, you know, meet new people and it will change your 
world in a way it'll change the the way that you frame that you know uh that 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 feeling of your you know how you feel about yourself you know when you go through new experiences and you meet new people because you think oh yeah I'm never going to find anyone better than my ex or the that person that I had a huge crush on and then you meet someone else and it just they just blow your world apart and you realize wow yeah actually I can find someone better so sometimes putting yourself out in different experiences can help that and just don't give up just keep on persisting keep on going through it basically you keep on dating people until you do find that right person for you and it's the same with other kinds of abundance as well you just have to keep on going you just have to keep on persisting you just have to keep on finding new approaches and new ways of doing things and if you do that then you will eventually find the abundance of whatever it is that you're seeking but you have to try but a lot of people unfortunately do give up but if you're watching a video like this one then you're probably not one of those kinds of people and i'm sure that you're not so anyway, this is how you can develop an, more of an abundance mindset to help you attract more abundance. I hope it's uh, been informative to you. I hope it's helpful to you. If there's anything you'd like me to discuss in a future video, then please leave it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to get in touch with me personally and you'd like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com shop if you want to go to the shop page. Um, and uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.